Well, 2013 was the year that wasn't for immigration reform. Congress avoided the issue and pushed it off until after the holiday break. But with an election coming up, will 2014 be the year immigration reform is resolved? WENY Washington correspondent Lauren Adams has the latest on the debate. People rallied to prove their point. Immigration reform! When do we want it? Now! The president showed his stance. We still have the task of uh, finishing the fix on our broken immigration system. And the Senate passed its version of a bill. But still, 2013 was the year that wasn't for immigration reform. It included the most controversial parts, including an amnesty that we think is uh, unfair, costly, and won't work. So I think that's kind of what ultimately undid it in the House. Derek Morgan is the vice president for domestic and economic policy at the Heritage Foundation. He says in order for Congress to pass immigration reform, the Senate's bill needs to change. Most people here in Washington realize that there's a lot of uh, items that are broken in the immigration system and a federal solution would be good for some of those. The key is how do you do it and we think that would be much better to do a piece by piece approach that leaves the more difficult issue, issues for later. Democrats and the Obama administration favor a comprehensive approach to immigration reform while Republicans favor a piece by piece approach instead of one huge overhaul. But one thing the parties do agree on is immigration reform is necessary. It's all about finding a middle ground and a compromise between Democrats on one hand who are just interested in legalization and amnesty and Republicans on the other hand who are a little bit more skeptical of that but more supportive of increasing immigration going forward. Alex Norasta is the immigration policy expert at the Cato Institute. He says it wasn't just differing opinions that sidetracked immigration reform in 2013. The conflict in Syria, the government shutdown, and the budget talks all got in the way. Looking ahead, Norasta says Congress should make one part of immigration reform its top priority. The number one thing that we need to do is figure out a way so that future immigrants can come here lawfully and work legally in the United States. That is the main driver of illegal immigration to the U.S. is simply the fact that it's very difficult to impossible for low-skilled workers to come here lawfully and work. Both experts say the United States depends on immigrants to thrive, so you can expect more of this Nuestro líder sindical del área. this year. Reporting in Washington, I'm Lauren Adams.